What's up guys? And in this video, Sin Fado and I are gonna show you some cool Christmas hacks you guys can do with your family, friends, at school, at the office, at home, anywhere you're at. So check it out. All right guys, for this one, all you need is a cup. Like say you're gonna drink some hot cocoa on Christmas, right? And it's really hot. Like for example, this one's not, but if it was hot, then I wouldn't wanna hold it with my hand, right? So all you do to hack it is just take your sock, like this one right here, which is the same colors as the soccer team Borussia Dortmund, if you don't know who that is. One of my favorite soccer teams. And then all you do is just take your scissors and you just wanna cut about right here, just like that. Once you do that guys, then all you do is open it and place your cup inside of it. Just like I'm gonna demonstrate for you now. Just like this guys, and just roll it up. And now you have yourself a nice little, a nice little holder that will keep your hands cool and won't burn your hands anymore. So it's really nice. Go bruise your dormant. Hell no. Up next I'm gonna show you how to make a little snowflake, a decoration you can put around your house for the holidays. And you're gonna need for that some wax paper. And I think everybody should know how to do this because it's a really fun activity you guys can do with your family, with the kids. And next you're gonna need a glue gun and you're just gonna apply some glue on the sheet of wax paper but in the shape of a snowflake. So if you guys know what a snowflake looks like, it looks a little like this. Time to reload the gun and keep going. All right guys, so I mean you can do a better job at this, hopefully, but mine doesn't look bad at all. I'm just gonna let it dry, but on the tip right here, I'm gonna glue a paper clip on there. This is gonna be like a little hook so you can hook it up to your Christmas tree. Then I'm gonna apply some more glue on it. And we're gonna let this sit, let it dry, and we'll show you what it's gonna look like at the end. Okay, so I put this in the freezer for it to uh, cool down faster, and now it's all dried up. It looks pretty nice, so I'm gonna peel it off the paper. So here's a little snowflake I made with glue. Very simple, it didn't take much, so it was ready pretty quickly. And you guys can make multiple snowflakes with different shapes, maybe add some color with a marker. And as you just saw, I put a paper clip on the tip Therefore, you can hang it up on the tree, and I'm gonna do that and show you guys an example. Okay, so you guys are gonna love this. You can make a really huge one and put it up on top as the star, or you could just, you know, make multiple little snowflakes and hang them up on the tree. This next one is for the kids, it's really fun. Or you can make it for your own Santa suit. If you let's say you bought a Santa suit and it didn't come with a beard, I'm gonna show you guys how to make one. And for this, you're gonna need a mask. You can find these at the dollar store. I got this one and it came with eight, eight masks, which are like for the hospitals or to keep germs away from you. Now this, you're gonna cut out a little hole on the top, which will indicate where the mouth is gonna be. So I'm gonna make a little mouth right here like that and then I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna use my trusty X-Acto knife to cut out the mouth. It does a really good job at it. Now that I have that opening, you are able to start making the rest of the beard. And to make the beard, you're gonna need some cotton balls. These are really great. Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much gonna use this whole bag of cotton balls. And to attach them onto the mask, I'm gonna use a glue stick. And I'm just gonna apply glue all over the mask that way it becomes sticky all around and it's easier for me to put the cotton balls on it. So once I've applied the glue, I'm just gonna start making the beard. And of course it has a little mustache as well. So I'm gonna start building that beard. So I've covered the whole mask with cotton balls and yet that's still not enough because as you all know, Santa's beard is pretty long, it's pretty big. So I'm gonna start adding more cotton balls together to make the shape of Santa's beard which is somewhat on the bottom is a bit more of a triangle shape so it's gonna look like this and I'm gonna keep it together with the help of my glue stick. 
so it should look like this, like a triangle. I just finished up making the Santa beard, and it should look something like this. And since Fatal's gonna model this for us right now. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas! As you can see, Sin Fado's wearing the mask. From far away, it looks like he's got a Santa beard. So it looks pretty nice on him. The brown Santa Claus, baby! Ha ha ha! Alright guys, for this one, all you need is baking soda. And what I'm gonna do for this one is, say you want Santa Claus to make the illusion of appearing and dropping off gifts in your tree. To, make, to do this, it's really simple. All you do is take baking soda like I have here, and you sprinkle it around your shoe. It gives the illusion that Santa Claus came and dropped off gifts at your house. So the kids will love this in the morning. So all you do is put your foot down towards the tree, and you want to start sprinkling around that. Just like I'm going to do here. And you can do as many steps as you want, guys, to make it look really nice. So once you've done with that guys, then I'll show you what it should look like. It should look like that guys. So it's like a step take towards the Christmas tree. Just like that. And once 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 I'm done making all three steps, I'll show you what that looks like. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So as you guys can see right here, I've already finished this one. And it looks awesome. It looks like Santa Claus came in, dropped off my gift, and he booked it. So there you guys go. It looks really cool. The kids will really enjoy this. I know I do, and uh, it's a cool little decoration to have in your house. Everybody will be very impressed by this, so there you guys go. So for this guys, all you need to do is just take aluminum foil like I have here. You just want to cut out a strip, maybe about that big right there. And once you have that cut out, you just want to take some whipped cream and you just want to lay it all on this aluminum foil, and I'll tell you why in a second. You just put that whipped cream on there just like this. Once you've done that guys, you could level it off with a knife, just like this. Just so you can make it a little bit flat. And once you guys have done that, then you just wanna put it in your freezer and it should freeze really fast. So this one's about ready. So I'm gonna put this in a freezer and then I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like in a second. So I had pre-made this one guys and this is what it looks like right here. It's hard and it's ready to go. Oh, these little decorations, I got these from the dollar stores, the candy cane and, and the Santa Claus's head outline. Now what you do with these is you just take it and you just push it down on that cold whipped cream and it should make your design really easily. Then you just pop it back out. You can do the candy cane one as well. Just like that. And then once you got your little outline, then you just take it and you can put it on your drink and it's gonna look really cool for your guests or anybody that comes over. And then as you guys can see, the little candy cane is in there, so it's a cool little decoration to have for uh, Christmas. All right, pranksters, for this next decoration, I'm gonna show you how to do. You're gonna need a little figurine like this one. I'm using a Lego, but you can use anything, anything more Christmassy, hopefully. This is the lid of this jar that I'm gonna be using for this project. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta lay down the little figurine you have. Right here I'm using a double sided piece of tape which is gonna come in very helpful. So when you have the lid upside down like this, you're gonna have them stick on the lid. Just like that guys. Next you're gonna prepare the jar and you're gonna need some styrofoam like this one. You don't really need much so I'm just gonna cut off the corner of this styrofoam block that I have here. And then you're just gonna I'll undo the little piece, piece by piece, till it starts to disintegrate. And then start putting all that into the little jar. This is gonna create the snow effect, which is pretty cool. So I got enough styrofoam in there. Now I'm gonna put some water inside. Filled up the jar close to the very top, but you guys can choose the amount of water you put in. Our last step is to screw back the cap that has the little figurine in there. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you just shake it guys, and it'll look like it's snowing. For this one guys, if you ever have the wrapping paper like I have here, and it gets all messed up and tangled everywhere, like you don't want to deal with it because it opens and stuff like that, so an easy way to fix that problem is you just take toilet paper roll, and you want to cut that in half and get a little cuff out of that, just like I'm going to do here, just like this. 
Once you have your cup, then you just cut that down the middle just like this. Now you have a little opening cuff just like I have here. Then you just take some aluminum foil to make it a little bit sturdy. Just like I'm gonna do now. So when you're done with that guys, it should look like this. Which it makes it a lot sturdy when you add that aluminum foil and it holds your wrapping paper in place a lot better. So then next you just grab your wrapping paper and you just clip it on there just like this and it should hold in place just like that. It's an easy way to hold on to your wrapping paper and it's, uh, it's, it's convenient for you. And that way your paper won't get out of place, so it's cool. So for this idea, all you need to do is just take some greenery like I have here, maybe you get from a plant outside and then all you guys wanna do is just put that in there, let it sit on the bottom. The other half, you wanna fill it with cranberries like I have here, just like this. And then what you want to do is fill it in with water, like I'm going to do now. And then once you guys have done that, it should look like this. So you have your greenery in the bottom and your cranberries in the middle. And then on the top, you just put a little candle and sit that down. And it's an awesome little decoration for Christmas. Place that on top. Like that. Once you got that lit in, guys, this is what it should look like. And it's, and it's an awesome little cool decoration that you can present to your guests or anybody that comes to your house will be really impressed with this. And have fun with it, guys. All right, this last little trick I'm gonna show you guys. All you need is three candy canes like these. They all gotta be the same size. And you're gonna arrange them in a way to make a little cell phone holder for the office or if you're bored at school and you're watching something, you don't wanna be holding onto your phone like this. This little hack comes in very handy. And the way you're gonna arrange them is you're gonna create a little tripod with the candy canes upside down, like this. And of course, you're gonna be using tape to keep them in place. All right, guys, and this is what it should look like. Now you have yourself a little cell phone stand, and I'm gonna use my personal cell phone as a demonstration. I'll start you off with a really cool match trick. So here's a little stand you guys could use anywhere. And it's very helpful, that way you don't have to stress out your hand holding on the phone. And it actually, it can spin, it doesn't really fall down, it's very steady. It's a cool little hack you can do with candy canes. Up next we're gonna make a pine cone wreath, which you guys can all do at home. For this, you're gonna need a bunch of pine cones like this. You can gather these from the tree, or you can buy them. I bought these and they came in a sack of tans, so I'm gonna use these to make that little wreath for you guys. You can use wire, or you can use glue, and I'm gonna use glue because it's easier for me but you guys can use wire. If your pine cone wreath is big or small, mine's gonna be small, so therefore, it doesn't need that much support from the wire, so I'm gonna use some glue, and I'm gonna use my trusty glue gun for this. I'm gonna start joining them together. Like that, guys, and then I'm gonna go all the way around, like this, and until they meet in the very top, on the center like this, guys. All right, guys, so I just finished up gluing the pine cones together to make this wreath right here. It doesn't look all that appealing from this angle, on this side, but if you turn it around, it looks way better. And now, guys, I'm gonna put a bow that I had on my Christmas tree on top of this wreath right here, and it's gonna look very nice, and you can hang this up on your door. So I'm just gonna attach it with the wires that it has on the back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I used some wire and I attached the bow on this wreath and I hung it up on my wall. You could do this at your door and it'll be a welcoming uh, little decoration for your house for when your guests come over for Christmas. It's pretty nice and hopefully you guys can do a better job at it. Maybe you can make it look bigger if you have more pine cones. But that's an idea that you guys can do for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd like to thank Singfado for helping me out with the other hacks that he did. Hope you subscribe, thanks for watching. Okay, so the syringe is right here and I'm gonna push just barely and it's gonna squirt. <laughs> oh. See that again. So tell them, hey, why don't you just give it a shake and try to guess what's inside? Of course, they're gonna pick it up and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick it in there, get some ketchup like that, guys. And then I'm gonna fill in this bowl with ketchup. All right, well, here goes. 
<laughs> Look at that. It keeps on going and going and going. <laughs> Definitely gonna ruin somebody's Christmas, right? 